welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a little get ready with me because i feel like i haven't done these or at least done one of these in a very long time so and a lot of my makeup has updated since i last did one of these um but yeah i also asked you guys to ask me some questions on my instagram so we're gonna answer some of those pin my hair back where'd my other clip go i slept on my hair last night and it flattened my curls a lot, but it looks cute. Like, it looks wavy. I don't know. I got some of my curls, but usually I sleep with it in a bun when it's curly, but I didn't last night. I didn't feel like it. So, anyways, yeah. Um, a lot has changed in my makeup routine. Like, I changed so many things. Okay. I don't know which one. <laughs> I'm trying to pick a question first. How did you figure out all the logistics of starting Padalia, like creating designs? So, I knew I wanted to make bikinis. Like, that was, like, my first thing. Um, I was like, I want a bikini brand. Like, that's just what I want. I knew that I wanted to start a bikini brand because that was just what I wanted to do. I wanted, in the beginning, to just do bikinis. Like, that was just it. Like, it was just bikinis only. And that's all I wanted to do. So once I figured that out, I kind of just, I wanted to make a bikini that no one's really seen before because bikinis, the bikini market is very hard. There's a lot of bikinis that have already been made. That was one of the things that I needed to kind of understand. Um, so I was like, I might as well just come up with a design that... I thought was different so I came up with a heat print design so I did a blue one and a yellow one and um, the manufacturer that I worked with at the time they had a graphic designer so I kind of like drew out what I wanted but the way that it was drawn out wasn't gonna come out the way that like I wanted it to I needed like a graphic designer to come up with that print um, I still needed someone to take my design and kind of like morph it so that's what they did and that's how I came up with Thermalita 1.0 and 2.0. I had to come up with like a different manufacturer and then I decided to go into clothes. And that's kind of what happened there. I went on my iPad and I sketched out all my designs and with my new manufacturer, I just sketched my designs, I sent them my designs and then they create them for me. So this makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer is literally the best thing that's ever been made. I like to use this before I do my concealer because I like to give myself a look that I looked like I was in the sun for a few days and now like my skin has like calmed down from the sun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I kind of like to put it like on my cheeks. I like to put it on my cheeks and my cheekbones obviously, kind of like contour, but I put it on my cheeks like under my eyes. Do a little on my nose, but that's what I like. And then also I do a little bit on my eyes. How to stay motivated slash disciplined on your goals, gym or specific projects, etc. So, I mean, I feel like this is kind of with anything. I was gonna say like for the gym, obviously consistency is key. So once you start seeing results, you just want to keep going back. I've said that for years. Like I've said that like for so long. Um, and I really feel like that's with anything, you know, like if you stay consistent with something and you keep working at it, it'll turn out the way that, you know, you want it to. It'll work out in your favor. What are your goals for Padalia in the next year? I mean, worldwide. You know, I want everybody to know Padalia. I want everybody to be wearing Padalia. I mean, all summer we're going to be wearing Padalia, and I mean, like, all summer. So, I've got a lot of things in the works and coming very soon um i did just have a new drop that was um about a week ago i believe so um yeah i have a lot of things coming so i mean in the next year i just want to i just want to grow more what are your favorite activities to do with nicole and juliet <laughs> favorite activities to do with my friends is to go obviously into the city and we just have a day we'll go shopping we'll get dinner or lunch and we just spend the day together 
and I can't wait for it to be summer because summer in the city is like no other so if you're not from New York you got to travel to New York in the summer it's like it's just, there's nothing like it even spring too it's the best and you just walk around everywhere and you can stop at cafes and you can sit outside you could go to Central Park and eat a sandwich the little things make me really happy I also just use the hourglass concealer it's literally I've been using this for like almost I think way over a year now I've literally had this one over a year now but it's so good um, I also want to go to museums more favorite books don't even get me started I actually just finished Girl in Pieces awesome and it was okay I almost said the ending <laughs> so if you're planning on reading it you should if, if you sh if you want to read it you should you should read it uh i do have a good read it's Liv nasuda so definitely or it's olivia nasuda it's olivia nasuda definitely add me we can be friends i add everybody back on there and i just want to talk about books like i just i just wrote my first review like my first real review for girl in pieces and it does have spoilers so if you want to read that book don't read don't read my review but I needed that because not everybody like not everyone wants to hear about my books you know what I'm saying so um <laughs> it's better for me to just to be on Goodreads and give my opinion on the books that I'm reading but back to my favorite books um I could actually look at right over here I loved Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter 10 out of 10 so good amazing I really like that author I, have, well, I also got her book pretty girls which I'm gonna read very soon I know that one's like supposed to be so good um, my favorite books mm, I love with Malibu rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid um, ugly love and all your perfects by Colleen Colleen Hoover those are my two favorite books from her all the rest of them are um, Girl in Pieces, 10 out of 10. And now, right now, I'm reading Daisy Jones and the Six and um, The Virgin Suicides, which I never read before, which I can't even believe I never read before. Um, I also just used Beautiful Skin, Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of want a new one though, which I also did order. So we'll do a little review on it on my blog that I'll be posted next week. But it's also by Makeup by Mario. And I got his palette, neutral matte palette, which I'm so excited about because I haven't been able to get my hands on it until now. How far do you see yourself going with your clothing brands? I mean, I see me, like I said before, worldwide. Like I just want everybody to be wearing her. I love Petalia. She is my baby. And to see her grow is something that I am working really hard towards. I mean, obviously, the biggest goal is to be on the runway, and obviously, I do have a lot of work to do to get towards that goal, meaning, honestly, it could be in like a, it would take a few years, but eventually, I mean, if I could do, if I could be on a runway, if I could be on a runway during Miami Swim Week, that would be, so that would be insane. Just trying to work towards that. Obviously, Rare Beauty, Happy, Blush, Blush, amazing, love Rare Beauty products, so good. Okay, this is going to be tricky. I'm using the Huda um, Powder in Banana Bread, I think. I must, yeah, it is Banana Bread. I'm just thinking about Banana Bread because I'm hungry. How do you like living on your own? I've been doing this for like a year now, a little over a year now, and I love it. I think everybody should at some point in their life being able to be by yourself I think being able to be by yourself and be comfortable with being by yourself is very important it creates a lot of self-love and you learn a lot more about yourself I think self-love is very important I'm sure a lot of people would say that because the only sure person that's ever going to be in your life is yourself. Someone asked um, if I could talk about the process that goes behind brainstorming ideas. My iPad is 
my iPad is the best thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you one that like obviously we've already done, but I would just like sketch out something like this. These are my two pieces, my sweater two pieces, and I just draw it out on there. I'll kind of put a mood board together first and see what photos and what things I like from my mood board. What would you describe your fashion style as? I want to answer this because I think that I get my inspiration from Carrie Bradshaw. You know, I mean, and I'm not going to be one to say I don't. Like my mom would always have it on TV and I would always be watching it and it would just be, you know, reruns of Sex and the City on. Everything she wears, like I literally, I will wear. I actually just ordered something off Depop that she, I'm pretty sure she's worn in the show, but it's just in a different color. Um, I have a huge haul to show you guys, but that'll be my vlog, so make sure you watch that on me next week. This is the Glam Quads Rosy Glam I make it by Mario, but we're just gonna use this little color down here on my lid. And these colors are very pigmented, so I need to be careful. Would you be able to do a video on how you style your Petalia body clothing? I definitely can. I actually wanted to on my TikTok, so i would probably do it on there. I think I'm gonna do that actually one of these, one of the one day this week, and I'll do a little styling video on how I style all my pieces that I have right now. Do you have any tips on starting as an influencer slash having a YouTube channel? My tip is to post whatever you want. So if it's vlogs, if it's doing makeup, if it's literally anything that you want, just post it and the viewers will just come to you. This is a hard part. I just like to do it on the outside of my eye and then with the smudger that it comes with, I just smudge it out. I like it to be messy. I think I've also said this before, it's just to not really care about what other people say. If any of you have a good eyeliner to suggest that goes in your waterline, that's like a brown or a black, let me know because, I mean, this one's good, but I'd rather one that stays more. Now we're using the Rare Beauty Mascara, which is the best mascara I've ever used. Just, wait, okay, this is before, right? Okay. I remember my lashes, obviously, when I took off my lash extensions, my lashes were really short and damaged. And now I feel like they're a good length. I would like them to be a little longer, but I use a lot of serums and oils on them. What? Do you see that? Stop using whatever mascara you got right now and use this, okay? Okay. Let's circle back to Carrie Bradshaw. So, thoughts on Aiden and Carrie's relationship. I feel like there's a mix of people who hate Aiden. Oh my god, who would ever hate him? He's so awesome. He's just, they just had not much in common. You know, that's really it. I definitely don't hate him. Definitely team big, always been team big. He was just very different from what she was used to and he was so great and he treated her so good so i don't understand why people would even hate him i did see obviously a lot of photos that were posted for the new season we're gonna have to take a pause and put this eyeliner in wish me luck totally kidding she's fine i don't really like to put bottom mascara on i don't really feel like i want to put it on today i don't What's my favorite coffee order? So my usual is always like cold brew, oat milk, caramel. Like that's kind of what I always go for. But recently it's been iced cappuccinos. And I, I don't know, that's just been my vibe lately. Did you go to college? If so, what was your major? So I went to LIM College in the city. And it's a fashion, uh, fashion business school. And I studied fashion media, which was the first that was the first year that I went into it was the first year that they decided to come up with this major which was kind of crazy and I kind of think that it all worked out in my favor um, I just learned a lot about social media and writing I do wish I learned more about fashion there 
I really didn't learn much about fashion there. It was really just like business. So if you're looking to go to a fashion school, it would probably just be best to go with to try to get into FIT because I feel like LIM, I mean, I don't know how it is now. I've been out of school for like two years now. I don't know like how it is now, but I know that when I was there, it would just they, we really did not learn about fashion really at all. What advice would you give your younger self? P.S. Make the most comforting vlogs. Thank you so much. Advice I would give my younger self? Stop trying to please everybody and do what's best for you. Just stay true to who you are. Don't change for anybody. Did you always know you wanted to make your own clothing line? So when I was in school, I didn't think that was even an option like I just thought to myself that's just I mean that wasn't even in my cards I thought I was gonna have to work for somebody but giving myself that chance I'm very glad that I did because I am the type of person that is her own boss I want to work for myself and I am my own boss I just always felt that way I've always thought to myself like I don't really want to have to answer to anybody like I just want to be able to do my own thing and so far I am so what is something your younger self would not believe now I she would not believe that she had her own brand like she she really would not she would not believe that she'd be like what are you talking about she'd be very proud and she'd be so geeked like she would she would think that we are so cool like she really would because we are what was my dream career 10 years ago? And I'm also gonna put in this question, what was your dream career and how did you, do you plan to get there? So, I mean, I don't even know what my dream career was. I did not know what I wanted to do, but my dream career now is just to keep my brand going. I mean, 10 years from now, I hope that I can have um, a team but I do love having the brand to myself, like I, I do. But I do hope to have a team soon. What three shoes should everyone have in their closet? Gotta have a pair of Adidas Sambas. They are the best, best sneaker. Second, you gotta have a comfy, sh comfy shoe. Ugg, come on. I love my Uggs, I wear them so much. The short ones the best you gotta have a comfy shoe comfy slipper you know one of those and third you gotta have bare manolos so recently recently i've been using cork from max lip pencils but i'm back to using whirl for now the last question i'm going to answer is what can we expect from your brand in the summer new bathing suits i'm bringing my bathing suits back this summer slash this spring i don't want to talk too much too much into it because I want it to be a surprise. They are even better than the Thermalita ones. I'm very excited about these. I'm very proud of these. These are the one things that I've been working on like crazy. I'm very excited for them and I can't, I can't wait for you guys to see them. I cannot wait. This is the finished look. This is like my everyday, like I would wear, I wear this every single day. What do you guys think? I also wanted to say thank you for the constant support on my brand. Every order means so much to me. So much to me. So the thought of hundreds of you, thousands of you, following my brand, liking my stuff, liking my new pieces, means the world to me. So um, definitely follow Petalia Body on Instagram for updates for the new drop, for new things coming. I'll see you guys next week in my next vlog.